Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my line of God's Daily Dire series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dire video, I want to go ahead and read you a chapter from the Bible. Today, I will be continuing with the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 17. Then said he unto the disciples, it is impossible but that offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again at to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. But which of you, having a servant, plowing or feeding cattle, will say unto him, By and by, when he is come from the field, go and sit down to meet, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink? Doth he thank that servant, because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants, we have done that which was our duty to do. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go shew yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that, as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or Lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, See here or see there, go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteneth out of the one part under heaven shineth unto the other part under heaven, so also, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. And as it was in the days of No, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in the night there shall be two men in one bed. 
the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now I want to focus on one verse here in particular. And one of the most beautiful things about re like rereading the Bible is that, I mean this, every time I read a chapter, I feel like I could learn something new, like learn something completely new. I feel like I could focus on a different verse. I feel like I see the chapter with a different perspective. And today's verse in chapter 17 that I would like to talk about is here. Luke seventeen, ten. L L Luke seventeen, uh, nine and ten, which reads, "Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants; we have done that which was our duty to do." That is the wisdom that Lord Jesus Christ gives to his disciples. He tells them, he says, you know, what man would reward someone for, for doing their duty? In this case, it is actually the example of, a, a, I believe, you know, master-slave, master-servant architecture. So that's the, the example that Jesus gives. But nevertheless, the idea of what he's saying here, he's telling them, you... Like, you are the ones who serve God, right? So the idea is when you serve God, Jesus says, say, we, because you are doing what God has commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. So Jesus is saying, carry oneself with the humility. Carry oneself with this idea that instead of having this entitlement mentality of, me, 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 I, 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 I deserve, I deserve this, we, you know, I should have this, all of this entitlement mentality. Do your duty and remind yourself of the humility with which you should carry yourself. And I just thought that that was so powerful because this is definitely one of those traits of the, the awesome Christian people in history is how many of them did such an awesome job and and they didn't make a a, 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 a huge hoopla about it so for example I, I think recently of the assassination attempt on president trump's life and how he didn't make a hoopla about it instead he he spoke on how he was going to continue pushing forward for this country and he spoke on how you know he had done well with his life he didn't need to do this but he loved america he loved this nation he loved americans so much that he wanted to do this because he felt like it was what was right and so instead of you know like i said he may he could have made a hoopla about that you know but instead of making that hoopla he decided to continue on you know and and in in his case he he's doing his duty running for his second presidential term and so i just find that so inspiring because that kind of humility is found everywhere in christians across this world you know and the world that they've built the church has built you know i'm just so proud of them so it's an honor to be able to give them their roses as they say in terms of the fact that you know They've just done such an awesome job. And there's no way to say the word just there. They've done an awesome job. So credit to them. So with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today. And transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Drive video. Since yesterday's Daily Drive video, I worked my software developer job. I trained MMA. I uploaded and scheduled yesterday's Daily Drive video for 9124. And I've created, uploaded, and will schedule today's Daily Drive video for... 9224 and with no further achievements since yesterday's daily dive video 
I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.